Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Provo, Dean Wells, members of convocation, graduates and guests. That's what they told me I was supposed to start with. But uh, the Chancellor talks about uh, being on airplanes. And I am an engineer, graduated from the University of Waterloo. Every time I fly on an airplane, I look out and I see the wings and I say, thank God there's real engineers in this world. It's an incredible honor to stand before you today as I reflect on my own journey from starting a business out of the trunk of my car while I was studying at the University of Waterloo. I needed a computer, which was expensive then, and I got a better deal if I bought two. So I bought two and I sold one, and soon I was buying and selling computer hardware, software, and peripherals. Professor Har Armitage was one of my early customers in those days. He likely did not think about it, think it through at the time, but every time you buy anything, you are voting with your dollars. You're voting for the success of the company you buy from. I went on to lead Danby Appliance as a company I own today, which you likely know from the bar fridges in your university dorm. <laughs> I'm reminded of the importance of beginnings. Today marks one of those beginnings for each of you, a moment when the world opens up full of possibility and promise. I'd like to share three lessons that have guided me, lessons I hope will resonate with you as you embark on your own journeys. First, embrace resilience. The path ahead will not always be easy. There will be obstacles, failures, and moments when you might doubt yourself. I faced my fair sh sh share of setbacks, projects that didn't pan out, deals that fell through, but each challenge was an opportunity to learn, to adapt, and to come back stronger Resilience isn't just about bouncing back, it's about moving forward with the wisdom gained from every stumble. Second, value time. Time is our most precious resource. As was mentioned early in my career, I realized how important managing time was. This led me to write a book on time management called Time Leadership. And if anyone of you want that, just uh, connect me on LinkedIn and ask, I'll send you an electronic copy. It's a concept that goes beyond mere management. It's about prioritizing what truly matters and making every moment count. As you step into your careers, remember that your time is your own and how you choose to spend it will define your path. It seems like yesterday that I was in your chair, but I grew older sooner than I thought. And you will too, remember that. Third, lead with compassion. In business as in life, it's not about what you achieve, but it's how you achieve it. When I decided to sponsor refugee families, it was an act of compassion, but it also taught me that leadership is about service. True success is measured by the positive impact you have on others. Whether you're leading a team, a company, or a community, lead with empathy, integrity, and a commitment to make the world a better place. As you leave here today, equipped with knowledge, skills, and dreams, remember that the world needs your ideas, your energy, and your compassion. You have the power to create, to innovate, and to lead in ways that can transform industries and communities alike. In closing, I encourage you to be bold, be resilient, and always lead with your heart. Your journey is just beginning, and I have no doubt that each of you will go on to achieve remarkable things. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2024.